Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on June 7th, and I have the pleasure of being here with Dr. Tom Hawkins. And you have in front of you the, I of course have been the director for the past five years since 2010, and sitting next to me is therefore my successor. So we thought it would be fun to take a minute to introduce Tom to the school community, and to think about it in the context of where are we right now as, as I reflect back on the past five years and what's the direction that we are headed as well as who's the person who's going to be at the helm. So Tom, welcome. Thanks, Deb. Um, it's been my pleasure to be here this year. It's been a really unique experience to come in as uh, first and foremost a parent, um, but my wife is teaching here at the school and my children, one of them is going to graduate tomorrow night. So it's been really a lot of fun to, uh, to be here, to get to know a little bit about the culture of the school and to see the wonderful things that you've done with your leadership team and with the staff um, for the kids and for all of the uh, parents who are um, highly engaged in this place. So it's been really a pleasure for me to be here and see this before taking on a leadership role in ASD from 2015. Well, you know, we have um, talked throughout the year. It says, though, we've, we've had the ideal transition model. And, um, and really, it's the school that benefits um, in the long run for that because there's been so many things that it's been great to be able to have you know about um, that um, I predict. I mean, it's a, it's a very easy handover in a sense. So um, that's great for the school community. You know, when I look back on the, the past five years, so much of the accomplishments of the school are framed around our mission and our vision and our strategies. And I know that as we're looking ahead for that mission and vision and strategies, that will be the, the same in the next five years. But it, it's important as we look at how is it that we frame um, where we are as a school that we look at the importance of that intellectual and that personal development that um, our faculty and our staff and our parents do so well, as well as positive, active global citizens. You know, I think about the fact that um, we have, um, when we look at strategy one and positive, active global citizens, we have service projects at every grade level. And of course, we have really, from upper elementary up, kids initiating their own service projects, and some that are very um, near and dear to our heart. Um, and we know the school community turns out um, whenever there is anyone in need in the school community. My gosh, the, the community involvement, the fundraisers are phenomenal in terms of helping community members. As well as our, our own how workers with English classes. I mean, it, it truly is a service-minded community. Then I think about strategy too, and I think about preparing students for a changing future. We are bringing in um, what we're terming the five C's, which are transdisciplinary skills that are so important for our kids to advance to the workplace. So when we think about collaboration and communication and citizenship and creativity, all of those are so important critical thinking in addition to the standards that we have in the disciplines. And you know, when I think about five years ago, the laptop program was an emphasis on technology and how do we do something? How do we have the technical skills to now? We, um, we don't think about that so much anymore. We think about what's the impact on learning. That's a, a great accomplishment of strategy two. And then strategy three, students will be prepared, um, will meet or exceed academic standards. Well, we have um, a standard-based curriculum in place with units, with um, assessments that reflect those standards. We have um, the highest MAP scores ever in the school's history, more students taking advanced placement classes and international baccalaureate. The, um, the degree of challenge that kids have risen to is phenomenal. And then strategy four is all about the community partnerships, um, what we have done in terms of those outreaches to the community and our um, strong volunteer efforts, all then with a strong infrastructure. So now, as we look to the next five years and we think about um, the fact that we are so proud of the school, um, I know that You've been doing a lot of work with folks in terms of thinking about those five years. Um, how, how does that work serve as a base to what you see coming forth? 
Thanks, Deb. I know that um, having been part of the Futures uh, Summit here and then working with the strategy or with the um, synthesis group on the strategies, a lot of those strategies will look similar to what you had over the past five years, although they're building on those to take it a little bit further. Um, we will also have to you know, consider, um, as we have over the last number of years, the growth of ASD to accommodate the needs of the people who want to be here at this great school. Um, and so that's part of what we're going to be focusing on as well. Not only the intellectual and the, and the personal development, um, the positive active global citizens, but also where are we heading with making sure that we can meet the needs of our broader community and um, continue to engage the community as you have done and the school has done so well for so many years. And then I think we're also going to make sure that we've got the ability to expand um, and make whatever changes are necessary to, uh, to meet the challenges of the next five years. And we're looking forward to that. We've had some great people be part of that group. So it's my pleasure to be here and to have seen this place and um, really excited about the possibility of leading here at ASD. You know, um, when I applied for the directorship, I had um, been to the school, I'd done some professional development, and I, I found that I just resonated with, in a sense, the spirit of the school. Um, I know that you have felt similarly. Um, I think it would be helpful for folks to know just a bit about um, where you came from and what it is that you found about the ASD community that, that um, you see as being unique and different. Um, thanks, Deb. We, uh, my wife and I have been international educators. We're obviously from the United States, but uh, we've been international about 20 of the last 25 years in Norway and in Turkey, um, in Beijing and most recently at St. John's International School in Brussels. Um, and when we came looking at ASD, um, we really saw a school that was very professional, very personalized, and we heard that time and again. Um, people really appreciate the fact that it is a big school, but it's very personalized. We like the opportunities that the school provided for us as as individuals as international educators, but also great opportunities for our own children. Um, like I said, I've got one who is graduating and then two more here at the school for the next five years, and we're really looking forward to being part of that broader community, that community that really says ASD is a place, a lighthouse school, that idea that um, they're laying the, they're, they're setting the bar pretty high, and we really appreciate that part of it, and that's what made me very excited about being here or coming here as the, as the next director um, because a lot of the people that I have known over the years in international education have spoken so highly of ASD, and when I came here, I saw for myself firsthand the great work you've done and what this school can be, and I'm glad to be part of it. We feel so fortunate to be part of a dynamic learning environment. And, um, and I just have to say it's been an incredible honor to be here at ASD the past five years. And you know, when you turn um, the school, in a sense, over to another director, you want to be able to feel really good about it. I'm so happy that I feel so great about it, Tom. So welcome to ASD, and in a sense, maybe it's not passing the baton, maybe it's passing the mic. The microphone. <laughs> Deb, thanks for all the things that you've done for ASD for so the past great. five years, in particular this past year, helping me do this transition, and we will keep the, uh, keep the spirit and the professionalism of the place alive in your honor. <laughs> and that's Sahifa this week. Thank you so much.